Seven years ago, in December of 2015, the first team members were hired to begin working on what would eventually become Ashes of Creation. And in the last seven years, Intrepid has given us monthly updates, sneak peeks into the world of Vera, Alpha Zero and Alpha One testing, Ashes of Creation Apocalypse, and much more. But as time goes by, and Ashes still doesn't feel close to being within our reach, the thoughts of, this game's a scam, and this will be the next Star Citizen pop up more and more as people get very impatient. There has been a lot of talk about this lately, more more so than I've seen in the past year, but as the year started coming to an end and Alpha 2 doesn't seem to be anywhere in sight, it seems to be popping up more and more again in my comments. But I mean, this has always been a thing of discussion. This massive MMORPG that really didn't need to be kickstarted, as it is self-funded by creative director Steven Sharif, made millions of dollars in Kickstarter and then sells monthly cosmetic packs as a form of revenue for Intrepid, giving you perks such as in-game currency, alpha and beta access, name reservation, and so on. But here's the thing about that. No one is forcing you to buy these packs. Whether Intrepid sells cosmetic packs or not month after month, it isn't going to stop this game from coming out. And honestly, I doubt they sell as many as people think they do right now, because these days, unless there is a skin that you really feel you must have, you aren't really missing out on anything unless you want to be part of the testing. So come launch, these sets will probably be pretty rare. For those of you who have been following the game for a long time, you probably know they're not putting any extra time into selling monthly cosmetics for this unfinished game. Every monthly cosmetic pack is an NPC or a creature or a building that is getting put into the world in a specific dungeon or town or region of the world that you will interact with at some point. And they are allowing you to purchase these NPC skins, so to speak. So whether they did the cosmetic bundles or not, they're still going to be made. There is there's no pay to win with this, there's no advantage to buying these packs other than you get to test the game. Intrepid has stated over and over again there will be no pay to win, and I don't feel selling cosmetics this early is pay to win. If you don't want them, don't buy them. It's not gonna affect you or the game or anything else down the road. Anyways, back to the development. If you look at some of the biggest MMORPGs out there, World of Warcraft was in development for five years. But this was five years of development 20 years ago when there was not as much to games. Not as many systems, not as advanced technology, not as extensive graphics. The game was really just quests, PvPs, and dungeons at launch. And then all the additional stuff got added down the road. Guild Wars 2 was in development for six years. Wildstar, the most underrated MMORPG ever that I really wish would come back, was in development for nine years. And Final Fantasy Online was in development for 10 years time before it came out. So this seven years we've gone through isn't really that much out of the ordinary for MMO development. Making an MMORPG takes time, and Ashes of Creation aims to be bigger than those MMOs I just named when it comes out from its massive scale to huge amounts of content available for the players when they jump foot into the game for the first time. So everyone out there posting in the comments saying this game is never coming out, well, maybe in three or four years when we pass the Final Fantasy development timeline, it might be a more reasonable thing to say, but you're literally seeing the the development of the game from start to finish. We have gone from this to this since this has all began in seven years, and for anyone saying this game is not ever coming out, does not understand at all how long it takes to create a world this size at Intrepid Plants with the massive amounts of content they want to add. And if this game is a scam like a lot of people seem to think it is lately, then why would they put this much effort into making what they have shown us? We had a playable Alpha 1, we had a playable Alpha 0, we have seen immense progress on the game, so I really don't think that they they are going to put this amount of effort into it when they are spending massive amounts of money into this game that if it doesn't launch, they're not going to get back. They've already surpassed that Kickstarter funding. That is more than likely all spent at this point. Steven has put millions of dollars of his own money into the game and will probably put more in before the game finally launches. But anyways, in a way, I do understand that Intrepid did do this to themselves a bit. This is probably the biggest downside of what Intrepid is doing with their transparent development process that they have given us. They have made a stance to show us what 
what is happening in Ashes of Creation the entire way until the end. But unfortunately, it tends to do more harm than good at times. When you see most games get to the point of showing you large amounts of content for the game, it's because it's basically a year or a little bit more than a year out from launch. Developers know on the internet there will always be those people who judge a game for what unfinished alpha test was shown and not its final form. But I personally would much rather have Intrepid keep doing what they're doing, showing us and presenting us what they are doing and taking us on the road to what Alpha 2 will be. And remember, Star Citizen has been in development for 13 years and we've got a solid six more years of development before we hit that point. But ultimately, the point I'm trying to make is that game development is weird, it's strange, and it takes a long ass time to do. So as long as Intrepid continues to show us progress, continues to respond to feedback, and continues to stick to Steven's true vision of what he wants an MMO to be, then just be patient, because seven years is not a long time for an MMORPG development, and it's really the transparent development that gives you that thought of maybe the game is closer than it actually is, because they keep showing you stuff that most game developers will not do, and if you continue to think that way, it's going to be a long road ahead for you, because we are not close to the finish line yet. Do you like Ashes of Creation's transparent development process? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, where you can jump into the forums, buy some cosmetic packs, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.